Oh, jeez. Oh, that's heavy. All right. Hello, everyone. So, I know if I'm in frame. We have only a few days left here in Indiana and I'm going through all my stuff because uh, my in-laws are moving to a new house in a couple months. I don't want to leave a lot of, uh, let's say, shit here that they have to move and take care of. And one of the things that I'm going through right now is my photography books. I thought that I could show them to you, the, the books that I have. All right. So this, these four I am keeping for sure. This is the first one I already showed it to you in a previous video that I'm gonna link somewhere. It's called The Land and it uh, has uh, photographs by several photographers. Uh, the photos uh, were selected by Bill Brand, so you know they are gonna be good. I love the photography in this book, not only the image that I already talked about by Bill Brand, but almost all of them, like that one. I'm gonna show you a few more now with a little bit of uh, music. So yeah, I'm keeping that book for sure. And then I'm keeping three by Michael Kenna. You know, I'm a big fan of Michael Kenna. One of his latest books and my latest uh, by him, uh, Holga. He made all the photos, all the images in this book using a uh, Holga, which is uh, pretty impressive because I've used that camera uh, extensively and uh, I was never able to create the results that he's got in here. The thing with that camera is that when you get it right, there is no other camera that I know of, at least, that can create the, these kind of images, like these three, for example. It's a toy camera, it has a plastic lens, but it's still medium format. I can get that shallow depth of field that you can see here, thought of this uh, ship with the mountains in the background. That effect that it has, uh, focusing on the center of the frame while everything else is kind of destroyed. I like that look a lot when it works. I wouldn't say that this is uh, his best work, but some of these images are just incredible. I'm gonna show you uh, a few more too now. The other two books that I have from him are uh, Forms of Japan. This is uh, my favorite photography book ever, period. All the images in this book are just beautiful. They are very minimal uh, images, snowy landscapes, like, I don't know, man, I, I love them all. I'm gonna show you more later. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful, minimal uh, images in here. And this is a book to, to go through. Uh, four hours and days and days. The last one by Michael Kenna is this one. This was the first book that I bought uh, from him. Uh, it's called A 20 Year Retrospective. This is a very interesting book and it offers a glimpse into Michael Kenna's work. He shows photos, some of his earliest photos and how he was changing over time. He started shooting like vertical and horizontal and then he changed, of course, to a square. All of these are just beautiful images by Michael Kenna. This is one of my favorites. It's uh, it's amazing.
And now I'm gonna go through the ones that I have in this box. I'm planning on getting rid of some of these because they are pretty big and heavy. I don't love them as much as I love those four. I wanna keep a minimal book collection, I know, between five and 10 books that I really love and books that really inspire me. And the first one is one by me. This is uh, my scene. This was my first publication that is called Went West. This is just a collection of 50 to 60 images. Uh, some of my earliest images. Some of them are good. I still like them a lot. Some of them I, I kind of regret including them here. Overall, I think that the experience of uh, publishing something was uh, a really good one. I really like that photo from uh, Wyoming. I made these photos with uh, film cameras, with drones, like this one. That one was uh, taken with my iPhone. So yeah, it was a variety of uh, images. Okay, so let's start with uh, the rest of the books. The first one is a classic, is The Americans by Robert Frank. There is not much I can say about this book that you don't know already. Some of them are just a history of uh, photography, like that one. I always love these ones. It's just incredible. Very, very beautiful images by Robert Frank. If you hadn't heard of this book before, Please uh, do yourself a favor and get a copy because uh, you're not going to regret it. It's an amazing book. Next one, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a basic techniques of photography. This is based on the Ansel Adams books, the camera, the negative and the print. They are pretty good, but this guy, John Schaffer, uh, covers pretty much the same topics that Ansel Adams covers uh, on the, his three books, but he does it in a better way or easier to understand. Ansel Adams was pretty good technically speaking and he had a lot of things to say about the photography, about the technique, but he did it in a very dense way. I read all his three books and they have a lot of information, information that is still relevant today but it's not easy. They are not easy to read. And this one is, uh, is much easier to read. It's not something that uh, I want to keep because it's big and heavy. So yeah, probably getting rid of that one. Another one I'm going to get rid of is this one, Why People Photograph by Robert Adams. This is not a photography book. Like it doesn't have, well, yeah, it does, uh, it does have some photos there, but it's pretty much text. This is a compilation of essays. That's what people used to do before blogs. And Robert Adams uh, had a lot of things to say about photography. And some of those essays are compiled here. It's a very interesting uh, book. It's a very interesting read. But once again, not something that I want to keep because I can download an, an ebook or an electronic version of this and have it in my ebook. So it's always available for me to read. Okay, this one Elliot Erwitt, Personal Best. So don't get me wrong because I like his photography. I think he was a fantastic photographer, but this book I don't love. I mean, <laughs> it's a pretty cool image though. The thing with this guy is that his photos are pretty fun. They are funny and they are, you know, enjoyable to look at, not like other, uh, they are not as serious as other photographers. Like this one, look at that. Looks like the dog is in the air. But this book has way too many of them, is way too big, is way too heavy. And I think that a more curated collection of images could uh, have worked much better here. So it's not completely his fault because I don't think this is a book that he made. I don't have room for this kind of books in my collection. All right, this one. This one is a very special one. Joel Sternfeld. 
American prospects. And I say that it's rare that you see me with a book like this because typical daily scenes and uh, they are in color. I love this book. It blew my mind when I got it. What I like about his uh, photography is when he was uh, taking photos of people like this uh, person, he placed the subjects in the center and they are rather small in the photographs, uh, offering a lot of context. And I love that. I love that. I think it's, uh, it's uh, genius. Like this one, you see, this is, uh, they are playing football, but they are surrounded by this majestic landscape. You see, it's all about the context. It's not about the basket. It's about where that the basket is. Some of them have uh, little details, like this one, you can see that's a rocket. And here on the far right, very far right, there is a restroom for women. Hopefully you can see it. You look at the image from far away, and then you realize about the small details and those small details are what make the photo. This, this one is incredible. You can see it looks like a normal scene, something happened, but then you pay closer attention to the photo and you realize that there is an elephant there in the middle of the road. You see this image from far away, oh, it's hard to handle. When you look at this image from far away, you only see a boat and then you realize that on the bottom at the very bottom there is a guy fishing. This one is one of my favorites uh, of his. So this is in Gresham, it's just outside of Portland. And you can see that this is a typical scene where a family is probably moving in or moving out of this house. And yeah, it's just your typical suburb neighborhood. And you can see Mount Hood here in the background. And there is nothing else to look at in this image, right? Until you realize that right here, in the very far right too, there is a mom feeding uh, her baby. So this is a keeper. Just two more to go, actually. This is the first one, photographer's sketchbook. Examples of uh, how photographers uh, manage uh, or handle their materials, their notebooks, their drawings, uh, their notes about where to go, uh, what to do. You see this guy uses maps and street view, journals or something where they uh, write everything that happens to them during their trips. It was an interesting concept, but I don't like the book that much. I didn't get much out of it. This one uh, has to go. And the last one. So this one is by Trent Park. And when I said earlier, the first book that I showed, The Land, that I wanted to be like those photographers when I grow up, I was actually lying a little bit because I want to be this guy. This book is incredible. It's called Minutes to Midnight. Some of these images uh, you might call disturbing, but they create an emotion in me. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is so cool. You see, the mood in these images is uh, incredible. They are, most of them are blurry, some of them are not in focus, and that helps to create that mood. They are very grainy too. I think these uh, were made on film, but I'm not really sure. You see, he took photos of uh, dragonflies as well something I've been doing this summer. He photographed some road kills too. Such a cool image, it's so powerful like this. Uh, like, I don't like making portraits, but I love looking at some of them. And this, is, this must be one of uh, my favorites. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that he did something to this image in, in post or in the dark room, but still, it's so cool. The concept is so cool, his idea. One very similar to Robert Frank's. He plays a lot with your imagination, like this one, this little kid is watching TV, but you don't know what he's watching. And it looks like almost like a terror scene, or it depends on how you look at it. It could look like some other things, I guess. So he plays with that. It looks like a wave at first, but then you realize it's just the dust from the car. This one is, uh, I don't know, it's what I said, almost disturbing. It's almost terrifying, but I love it. I don't know, when you look at that horse, uh, you can't just look at it and ignore it. 
very very grainy images this looks more like et here they are cooking a kangaroo a baby kangaroo which is crazy and as i said almost disturbing in a way that's a dead kangaroo too i like uh, his uh, aesthetics his technique here is just sublime i think and it's something that i really want to add more into my photography as well so this one is a keeper too Okay, so the ones that I'm keeping. Minutes to Midnight by Trent Park. American Prospects by Joel Stern Sternfeld. Michael Kenna, a 20 year retrospective. Michael Kenna's Forms of Japan. His uh, Holga book as well. The Land by, let's say, Bill Brandt. And The Americans by Robert Frank. So that's one, two, three, four, seven. Seven books, and I think that is a pretty good size, a pretty good amount of books for a collection. This is my American collection. It's the collection of books that I'm gonna keep here in the US. As you know, I'm building another one in Europe that I keep there at my parents' house. I only have one book so far by Sebastian Salgado. I talk about this in another video that I'm gonna link around here. That's an amazing book that I actually wanna go back to soon. I really recommend all of these books that I'm keeping here. I love all of them. They are amazing. You won't regret it if you get a copy of uh, these books. Just wanted to share my little book collection. Please, please, please share your recommendations, your favorite photography books in the comments down below. I'm looking to add maybe another couple of books in the near future to this uh, collection. So I would really appreciate if you left uh, some recommendations in the comments. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next one.